I am Rich Johnson, joined by Steve Mariucci, Dion Sanders, and Marshall Falk for the second straight week. The NFL Network game came to an end in the end zone with no time left on the clock. Joey Porter, after a one-game absence, baby, is baby, well rested. Down. He is well Showed rested. Up the play. That's Steve, a man Steve right Smith there. showing off about, I guess, a fender bender he got into in a game. He was okay. He was okay, as, you, as, as uh, shown on just the second play of the opening drive. Uh, Steve Smith from Jake DeLome, 10 yards, as uh, Smith was chewing up the uh, youngsters on the edges in the secondary for the Miami Dolphins, but Joey Porter bags himself some DeLome to stop that, the drive. That sequence of plays in the red zone for the Carolina Panthers ended in the sack by Joey Porter. They had to settle for a field goal, 3 nothing, and it turned out to be one of the best drives of the game for Carolina. Four possessions later for the Dolphins, midway through the second quarter, here's Brian Hartline from Chad Henney in Michigan to Ohio State week right there. Four plays later, third and 16 from the Carolina 33, and Lex Hilliard picks it up with Ronnie Brown out of the mix his first career carry, Lex Hilliard, with a huge first down. Three plays later, third and nine. Henny to Ricky Williams, who eludes Niall Diggs, and he's in the end zone. Great Touchdown. Great route by Ricky Williams. He's not only can run out of the backfield, but he can catch as well. Dolphins up 7-3, and then the next possession after a three and out by Carolina facing third and six. The Henny to Devon Bess, who is a chain-moving machine tonight, moves the chains with a nice Ooh, grab on catch. third down. And then four plays later, second and goal at the one. Ricky with his first career game with a receiving and rushing touchdown. Dolphins up 14-3 at the half, third quarter, first possession of the second half for the Carolina Panthers. And here is D'Angelo Williams running through a hole and gone for 50 yards. Great blocking by Steve Smith right there. Boy, the kid is explosive. I mean, you put the ball in his hands and short run turns to long game. Three plays later, third and three. Jake DeLome wants to snap the ball, but the umpire standing over the ball. He wanted to snap it because the Dolphins were, were changing personnel. He wanted to catch him with too many men on the field, so the umpire then backs off the ball. Jake DeLome then gets the snap and then throws an interception. Thank you. Two deep man under, and he just didn't get over the uh, trailing defender. Don't make excuses. Why is the umpire standing over the ball real That's quick? That's a good mechanics by the officiating. Good yes. mechanics. That's Let him substitute. Yes. 14-3. Jake DeLome back. Back at it. Here's D'Angelo Williams underneath. Makes the edge. Nice play right there. Oh, and Steve Smith with a great block of Channing Crowder. Five plays later, we're in the fourth quarter. Third and goal from the eight. DeLome sacked by Randy Starks. Four sacks of the night for the Dolphins defense. Panthers forced to settle for another field goal. It's 14 to six now. Six minutes to go. Panthers have the ball back. Jake DeLome scrambles up the middle. Do it yourself, Jake to the Miami 37. Three plays and a pass interference later. It's second and five for the Miami 27 and DeLome up top to Steve Smith. Nice grab, one-handed corral in the end zone. Touchdown. And that's what you want to see from Jake DeLong. Him hooking up with Steve Smith. Great play. D'Angelo Williams converts on the two-point conversion. It's just a one field goal game with five minutes and change to go. Dolphins, can they go three and out? The Panthers have them right where they want them. Third play on third and 12. And Chad Henney extends the play and finds Devon Best for a huge first down. Hey, if you the Carolina fans right there, you just have to blame it on the Henney. <laughs> Put on the Henney. Six receptions for 66 yards for Best. And then the next play, Ricky's running free and wild. 46 yards and gone. It's a nine-man front, and he pops into the second level. And see ya. He's hard to tackle, especially if you try to tackle him high. Panthers are stunned. What do you think of Ricky Williams running in place of Ronnie Brown? 119 yards and three touchdowns. This is exactly what they needed. The thing that I like about it, Bill Parcells went to him and said, trust the guys in front of you. And we saw that. The patience from Ricky Williams. Man, he did a great job. But the Dolphins had to give the ball back. The Panthers used their remaining timeouts. Lex Hilliard is stopped on third down. Third 39 ticks to go. Can Jake DeLome pull off the miracle? First play with 39 ticks to go. DeLome over the middle, out of timeouts. Gary Barnage with a 29-yard gain to the Miami 43. They have to run up and clock it. They do just that. 20 ticks to go from the Miami 43. DeLome to Barnage again, 17 yards. Have to get up to the 26 and clock it. The Panthers do just that with six seconds to go. One last shot at the end zone from the 26. DeLome, pressure with just four-man rush. He's got to put it up. 
and is knocked down by Tyrone Culver. And that's the way the Miami Dolphins hold on to win and officially dig themselves out of an 0-3 hole to start the season to even their record after 10 games at 5-5. Five and five, Carolina had a similar opportunity tonight. Could not do it as Jake DeLome hummed it around the yard for 42 attempts. That's the second most attempts on the year for DeLome. D'Angelo Williams with 13 rushes, 122 yards. That led the Carolina offensive effort, but it was all about Ricky Williams. And on third down, Chad Henney converted out of his skull. 